Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here, and we have another Girls X Battle 2 video for you guys. This week, uh, we are going to have Blair and Holly into the game. Um, Blair is going to be in Castles. Holly is going to be in the Secret Time event. Uh, Blair is a ghost, and Holly is a fairy, so we'll get into that. Just a reminder, the stream is today, one hour before server reset. We'll be talking about the new girls, talking about maybe possible teams, doing stuff like that. Uh, reminding everyone to do Elite League. Hang out for a little bit while we wait for uh, the server to reset. And then at 7, we will start uh, to do capsule pulls. Uh, please come join that. It'll be fun. We always uh, have a good time. And also, uh, we do a little uh, event where whoever can guess the right amount of 5 stars we get from capsule pulls. And you get a nice uh, uh, capsule pull uh, champion role in my Discord if you win. So that'll be fun as well. All right, let's just get into the event. We'll get into the keyword later in the video, of course. And the event time is going to be from the 14th to the 20th. So 13th for 19th for me. Remember, if you're day behind, you're day behind. Daily rewards are going to be three capsules and one magic circuit. Uh, capsule points, this is the normal event. Uh, Sakura is going to be our food girl. And then uh, Blair is going to be our uh, premium girl, our, I guess you could say, featured girl for this capsule event, which is nice. The These are the magic circuits. This is for the time event. This is what you get here. Uh, capsule packs. At the same time, we've been getting all every time now for a while with the capsule event. It's essentially if you summon them. If you're new, it doesn't mean just summoning from the capsules alone. It's for whenever you get them as uh, from the event. So they get into shards once you open them out of your bag from the shards. And you pull them into your your area where your girls are holding, essentially, where you're uh, in the game. Not in your bag in the shards. It will count as summon and it will give you these. So you need 9 to complete it. On a side note, if you don't have 2k caps... For anniversary, there's no reason you should be pulling for this girl right now. Um, if you have a crap load of capsules, and you have like 4K of them, and you want to compete in PVE modes, Blair's going to be great from PVE, so you can do that. But if you don't, you need to save for anniversary. That's when the big events happen, that and Christmas, so just save for that. All right, next up we have Girls Exchange. I haven't been able to say this in a while, but Rogue is something you want to grab out of here. Usually every girl we get in Girls Exchange is not good. But Rogue is really good for newer players and people that are halfway into the game, like mid-area mid players. So getting a Rogue to help finish certain modes, like Private Patrol is one of the modes you want to finish first at anything. She helps you get to 9 100. She's very important. Other girls can do it, but she does it a lot easier. So getting an LB5 Rogue at the beginning is very helpful. And then after that's done, you can just replace her with somebody else, essentially. So... Next up, we have Explorer Packs. A thousand gems for 10 capsules. That's what you want to go for every time, essentially, when this happens. Um, next one you probably want to do is the 3,000 for the eight enrolls to help build up your enrolls for an enroll event. If there's a girl you like, if we, like Mika enrolls comes out, you want to grab Mika's. She's going to be great as well for one of your first LB5 girls. Uh, the last one that you're probably only going to grab if you have a lot, which the only reason you're grabbing this is to max out your labs. Not your second part of the labs, but the first part of your labs. If your first part of your labs is maxed, the second part's not really as useful, except for some PvE modes at this point right now. So, go ahead and grab this only if you want the guild coins. That's it. I'm going to leave it as simple as that. Only if you need to finish your labs, you're grabbing the 8,000. If it's already done, just grab the 3,000 and 1,000 and save your gems for something else. Got it? All right. Next up, we have Secret Time. So, uh, the Secret Time, it's, this is kind of like, from what I'm looking at this, it's kind of like slots. Um, you, once you collect the rewards, I don't know which ones in slots are going to be permanent. Like, you know, in slots, like ones that get unhighlighted, like the, they'll be transparent and they'll show that you can't pick them again because you already picked them. I'm assuming it'll be like, what is that? Nine and three, nine and three and up over here. When they get hit, they will turn transparent and you will you have to refresh it again to get them. And I'm assuming the bottom ones, every time you spin it, you'll be able to get them. So kind of like slots, essentially. Now, you can get Holly, but this says that after so many... It's right here, it says Holly's guaranteed after a certain amount of activations. I do not know how many activations that test asks. I didn't know this was going to look like. So I would have asked them, but I didn't know. So we'll have to find out on stream. And I still ask them anyways, and I'll wait for a response later tonight on what that is. And then I can post it in my Discord saying, hey, this is how many it officially takes. Kind of like in capsules after every 500 you're guaranteed a copy we'll have to wait and see hopefully it's a guaranteed amount but we don't know all right so then you can use 100 gems to manually refresh these rewards 
kind of like slots is high stakes slots is a hundred, and you get one free chance a day, just like slots. This is kind of like slots. And then these are the rewards. So we have high stakes slots, capsules, ruins, lucky charms, orange shards, and then the other one is servant crystals, angel demons, floppy disks, USB drives, uh, demon shards, angel shards. These are kind of your higher rewards. And these ones are just normal resources. I don't know. I wish I knew the rate of how, how many times these are, like, how often we can get them when we refresh and which ones how they refresh, kind of like slots. Um, I'm assuming if they're not going to change, they're just going to be 350, not like slots has different levels of them, like 40, 60, and 80 for chisels. So... I don't know, but if anything, you would want at least have lunch boxes and chisels in that go around and guild coins if you're low on guild coins, essentially. And then of course we have Holly at the 12. Like I said, we don't know when Holly's gonna happen, so we're just gonna have to wing it tonight, essentially. All right, each time the clock is activated, various amount of time shards, which are these little red things, also can be earned. They can be used to exchange materials in the store. A side note on the store. Once you're going through the store, you have to use unlock everything within the first level to get to the second level. Everything in the second level to get third, and then third to fourth, essentially. So you have to get all of these to get to here, and then you have to get all of these to get to here, and so on and so forth. When you get to the fourth level, if you ever make it that far, you're only grabbing these two, really. You're only grabbing class set and the angel set. If, that's all you, if, if you can't get them, then you're obviously stuck with these. This one, I don't know if it's going to be a Pate in there in the Angel Demon box. I would assume not. I'm assuming it's going to be Izzy, Nami, and Uriel. So don't count your hopes on that. The normal faction box, though, don't know what's going to be there. Hopefully Mika's, because Mika's are good. Uh, I need Estel's. I don't know if that'll be in there, but maybe. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right. And of course, it tells you you need to clear the previous page to proceed to the next. That's just what I just said, that you have to clear all of them to get to the next level. One to two to two to three, three to four. And then a, then we also have a side event with this that that was kind of helps free to play players essentially that are not doing the event, but it can at least get some rewards out of it to at least spin the clock. During the event, new tasks will be unlocked daily. Upon completing a certain task, active points, the hourglasses can be accumulated. Once certain points have been reached, rewards could be earned. So it's kind of like an extra daily task on top of our other daily tasks we already have. So it's kind of nice. Because it gives you magic circuits. So from what we see right here today on this, you use slot tickets, daily login, finish five junior battles, which is easy. Challenge one friend boss, which is easy. If you complete all of them, you get the magic circuit, right? And then on top of the rewards you get for getting so many of the um, hourglasses, you can get magic circuits here. Now if you complete all of them, I assume from one day one to day seven, you get all of the magic circuits there, which is 19. I don't know how many we're going to get every day. Maybe it'll go from day one and it'll be two magic circuits to three. It's probably going to be two the whole time. So it's probably 14. So you may be a chance of getting 20-something magic circuits for free without even having to do capsule event. And we d I doubt that'll get you a holly out of the event. But hopefully it can get you some decent amount of rewards from the event. But it's still not a lot. But at least it's something. Plus you get rewards right here. Like free capsules, free enrolls. Maybe that resource box is hopefully at least 6000 or higher. We'll have to see. I don't know. Don't quote me. But hopefully it's a good resource box and it'll be actually worth it for free to play. So magic supplies. Not really fond of this. I mean, even the gem one for 2500 is not really worth it to me. So unless you're going heavy into this event and grabbing this, I couldn't even see the worth it. You'd be better off just buying the normal value packs with the magic circuits in it. I know it's less, but at least you're getting capsules, and that's more important to building your team than this right here. Because you can get these the dolls from Lovely's event. If if you're if you're buying this, you you should be spending more on more money on Lovely's event essentially. More resources gained there than doing this. Girls at collection is again. This is for Holly. It's the same thing up before. Same principle. Whenever you summon them, you get the uh, rewards. Next up, we have Ancient City Battle. This is kind of new. Uh, we'll have to see how this event goes. It looks kind of fun. Uh, yes, I, we did the math earlier. It's like 4,500 gems. Kind of like Lovely's event, getting the extra wheels. So 
depending on how this goes, we can either tell them like, hey, this is a good event, we want it back again, or it could be like, no, it's not, it's a really a drain on gems, it's not really worth it, kind of thing. But we'll have to wait and see. So essentially, Intercity Bay lasts for six days. I don't know why not seven, but it's six. All right. Um, two ch you get six chances for the first day to explore. Two more chances for every day starting from the second day. So that's 12, what? No, five, sorry. Five days times two is 10. Six, it should be 16 chances. The first two explorations will be free after each exploration costs 300 gems. So the first two out of the six will be free. And then after that, the two other days after that, it'll be 300 gems. So we'll have to see how much the rewards are compared to the gems to see if this is worth it or not. During exploration from a team, during each exploration, form a team with girls you encounter along the way and compete with other compete with other teams for chests. So we choose girls, we make a team. I'm assuming we'll fight other girls like this, or maybe it'll be a chaos boss. I don't know, but it'll probably be like other girls like this. It'll be like a PvP battle. And then, when your team is formed, you will encounter a battle. When the battle will raise your chest level and you get preceded. Now I think about this, actually this seems like a PvP. You choose your team, you get the girls you need, and you're going to fight other players in the game competing for the chest, and then you put yourself in rankings. So I maybe the higher you get, the people that are making better teams, it's kind of like PvP, but with 100 level 5 star girls. You know, it's it's not like what girls you have. It's just whatever they give you kind of thing. So you're kind of at the mercy of RNG and the girls you get. So this could be fun or could not be fun. We'll have to wait and see that. If you lost, one digging hole will be used to dig up a chest. Look for the current level. You can either accept this chest and end this exploration or use gems to purchase a new digging hole so you can continue your exploration. So if you lose, you can accept the one you want or you can get a hoe and you can keep going to get a higher chest essentially to keep going. The nice thing about this is you have demo battles so you can test to see if you can beat them or not. Or how, how many times you can beat them, depending on the RNG. Uh, when you do the fight, you have a better chance of just winning it so you can keep moving on. Alrighty. This is the prep phase. You tap fight to fight, obviously. But the prep phase also has where you can gain, once you're going further in, you choose girls, you choose power-ups, and you choose antiques. So, essentially, a uh, little bit of sanctuary. The little antique thing is new. And the selection of girls is from, like, challenges. So this is kind of like a mixture of challenges, sanctuary, and a little extra with antiques. Kind of nice. We'll see how that works. I don't know how many of each you can get, but it'll be nice to see. The rewards in the chest so far that we know of are gold, advanced capsule coins, and super slot tickets in the chest. I don't know the amount of them. We'll have to wait and see on that. Could be a lot, could be a little, but we don't know. Of course, we have rankings here. It's going to be the global servers. It'll probably be 5,000 plus and less for this. Probably be like a little lower than that. It is nice that the lower players are getting in rolls. So if you need rolls, you might want to just stop at 1,000 and stay here, which is which is, which is is smart, you know. Up here, higher. Obviously, you get more resource boxes, but we're not getting any rolls. So they're kind of making this better for the player, people that are farther down in. So it might be, for some people, they're going to battle to try and stay within that 5,000 to 1,000, but try and get into that 1,000 to 1,500 area, you know, depending on it. That's what I would do if I was in that situation. I needed enrolls. I'd rather just go for those enrolls there and not worry about those shards. It's kind of a little bit bass backwards, but it's kind of nice. Of course, we have Count Mysteries gift here. Um, essentially, you're just going to choose capsules. If there's an Apathy in this box, we're going to go for it, obviously, but uh, usually every time we do this, it's going to be capsules, resources here, Capsules, you servant crystals would probably need to get that 100%. Uh, capsules, capsules, this is free. Check whatever you want. Value packs. Before we go any further, the keyword is Holly. I'm just going to say it real quick. H-O-L-L-Y. Um, value packs are the same as always. You just get magic circuits in them, nothing there. There's no skin to talk about this week. It got canceled. Uh, if you're a light spender, the $5 ones is what you want to go for. Essentially, that's your go-to here. But that, that's it. Nothing really exciting to talk about at the end of this video because there's no skin. So, But uh, yeah. But we do get two new girls, Blair and Holly. The stream will be one hour before server reset. You can join us at 7 whenever we do the actual stream. And remember, the keyword is Holly this week. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Hopefully, we can get enough Holly copies to try to test her out. She seems interesting. Blair would test her out as well, see how she does. Maybe she'll get a beam, good at MPVP. I doubt it because we still have Vivians and Nefs and Apothes in the meta. They're just like... 
they run rampant, they're everywhere kind of thing, you know? So, one girl one day might break the monotony, but we'll have to wait and see. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, though, be safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video or the next stream. Thank you for tuning in as always, and peace out.